A comment following one of my videos on using crystal oscillator modules said that if you varied the voltage, you'd be able to vary the frequency. Not by very much, but it could still be useful. An example is if you're using a crystal oscillator module on 50 MHz. Changing the voltage might just put it above 50 MHz inside the 6 meter band. In other cases, supposing you had oscillator modules for 24 or 48 megahertz, then again a small increase above those frequencies would put its multiple inside the amateur 2 meter band. So let's give it a try. Here I have a crystal oscillator module, in this case 50 megahertz, connected to a variable power supply actually just a voltage regulator using an LM317IC. Right now the voltage is set at exactly 5 volts. According to this, We are just inside the 6 meter band, 900 kilohertz above 50 megahertz. I will change the voltage. We'll just look at the relative output as indicated on the meter. Currently at 5 volts, but if I increase the voltage, you'll hear the frequency shifted and the needle also moved. We are exactly at 5 volts. With one hand I'll vary the voltage and with the other the tuning. Move the voltage up. We've moved up about 400 Hertz. We'll just measure the voltage. We're now up to 6.5 volts. We'll go up a little bit and put the voltage up a bit more just filling the module it seems to be a little bit warm and a bit of instability but we've gone up to 50.002 and if we check the voltage 7.37 volts we'll go a bit higher the signal doesn't sound so good. I'd imagine it would look pretty awful if you put it on an oscilloscope. Put the voltage up higher. It just collapsed. And at this point we're at 6.7 volts. Now what happens if we drop the voltage? Even at 1.2 volts, the oscillator is still operating. Down at 1.2 volts, it's only 600 hertz above band edge. What about other frequency crystal oscillator modules? This one is much lower, at 3.686 megahertz. I'll just vary the voltage. And there is a significant shift maybe 100 or 200 Hertz. When we look at the output level, when it's up around 8 volts, the output does go higher. That's around 5, that's around 8. And as you can hear, a small shift in frequency. The one we've got in now is 16.257 megahertz. Times 9 gives you 146313. At 5 volts, I'm getting 146.309. Dropping voltage. Now, the interesting thing here is that unlike before, our frequency's gone up. This is around 2.5 volts. Now we'll drop further, and it goes up even more. Even more.
and at 1.2 volts we're at 146.318 we'll go up in voltage and drop in frequency the lowest frequency we can get is 146.308 so that's about a 10 kilohertz shift on 2 meters but as I mentioned before the behavior is a bit different this time lower voltage giving a higher frequency so just to conclude you do get a small frequency shift if you vary the supply voltage to a crystal oscillator module in some cases that may be sufficient just to put it inside an amateur band however the frequency shift is only going to be a few kilohertz even if multiplied up